No Machine Remote Desktop Review, I can tell you right away, I've personally used No Machine for a good stretch, both on my Windows laptop and my Android phone, and I've had a pretty mixed but overall solid experience with it. It's not the flashiest remote access tool out there, but it's surprisingly capable once you get used to it, especially considering it's free for personal use. That alone was a huge draw for me when I first stumbled across it. I didn't have to sign up or enter credit card details, just downloaded it and got started. The first time I installed No Machine, I honestly expected a bit of a headache, but the setup was pretty painless. I installed it on both devices, my laptop and my phone, followed the prompts, and it detected the machines on the same network automatically. What I did notice, though, is that even though setup is straightforward, the interface can feel a little clunky at first, especially on the desktop version. It's functional, but kind of dated. Still, everything's there once you learn where to look. In terms of performance, No Machine surprised me. I used it over a 50 megapibus connection, and there was almost no lag while controlling my laptop from my phone. It felt very responsive. I was even able to play video files stored on my PC through my phone without too much stuttering, which blew my mind a little. It supports full screen sharing, remote file transfers, and you can even share audio. File transfer is easy. I just dragged and dropped files between systems, and it worked without fuss. You can also zoom in and out of the remote screen, and even blank the remote machine's display if you want extra privacy. That was one of my favorite touches, especially when working from public Wi-Fi. Security-wise, no machine doesn't cut corners. Connections are protected with SSL certificates, and you can also enable two-factor authentication if you want that extra layer. I like that it automatically configures new connections behind NAT routers and firewalls, so I didn't need to poke around with router settings. Everything just worked. That peace of mind is important when you're accessing sensitive files remotely. One thing that frustrated me a bit was the support situation. If you're using the free version, you don't get live customer support. You have to rely on their knowledge base or community forum, which are actually pretty detailed, but obviously not the same as talking to a human when something's not working. For paying users, plans start at about $44.50 per year. You do get access to more support options and advanced features. I never upgraded since my needs were basic, but if you're managing multiple endpoints or running a business, that might be something to consider. Speaking of the commercial plans, there's a whole suite of them depending on your needs. No machine has enterprise solutions that let you connect hundreds or even thousands of devices, and those prices go way beyond the single user license. But for personal stuff like accessing my home desktop while traveling or helping my dad fix something on his PC, the free version more than did the job. Overall, I think No Machine isn't trying to be the most polished or feature-packed option like TeamViewer or AnyDesk, but it's quietly powerful. Once you get past the slightly old-school interface, you find a really reliable remote desktop tool that doesn't cost anything unless you need it for business. So yeah, if you're someone who wants remote access without the price tag and you don't mind figuring a few things out yourself, No Machine is honestly a great option. I still have it running in the background on my machines, just in case.